Hello everyone, I'm Brennan Marcells, it's Joel A. Erickson. We're going to talk a little bit about LSU's defense today. A lot of talk early in the season about their defensive line, defensive tackles maybe in a weak spot. But they're dealing with some injuries as well, Joel, has really kind of debilitated them a little bit heading into this matchup. Yeah, that Quentin Thomas, the guy who was supposed to be a, was expected to be a leader for him, tore a bicep in, the, in camp and was supposed to miss the season, but he's been playing with it, which is ow. Yeah. Uh, but they've also had – the guy that was – the end of the starting lineup in place of him, Frank Heron, also has been hurt. Uh, he's just supposed to be back at practice this week, but still coming off of an injury. When, when they got past him, they got down to Devon, I think I'm saying this right, Devon Godchow, uh, a true freshman uh, at tackle, playing next to a guy in Christian Lockatru, who's a sophomore. Uh, they're, they're young. I mean, they've got, they've got some seniors uh, on that side. I guess they've got seven starters coming back, but it, it's still pretty young. Uh, and then they, they lose another a uh, big piece off the defense with their nickelback. Yeah. Uh, goes down for the season with a, well, reportedly goes down for the season with a torn ACL. Our, our guys at NOLA.com are reporting that. Um, that's a big position in LSU's defense. That's, that's basically where Tyron Matthew yeah. got into the Heisman race a couple years ago. Yeah. That defense, is, it's, it's been beat up not before it was beat up uh, <laughs> on the field. Mississippi State. I keep going back to that game. They really just they ran the ball all over them. The lanes they were creating were amazing. My question is: Is are we maybe exaggerating LSU struggles on the defensive line, or was Mississippi State's offensive line that good? But I don't know. I think LSU's definitely got some issues up front, and that leads me to this: We've talked a lot about Auburn's offensive line, the blocking, the running game. If Auburn struggles really at all for a couple of drives against LSU and running, that has got to raise a red flag for the coaches and, of course, the fans, because fans have been keeping their eyes on that. But I think this team, this game is going to be run heavy for Auburn. I don't think they're going to try and force anything in the passing game. They're going to try and get that running game revved up early against LSU. LSU is fourth in the country in pass efficiency defense. Just for the record, I'm not going to use total passing yards as a stat anymore because yeah. it's misleading. Uh, but they're fourth in the nation in pass efficiency defense. In rushing defense, they're 71st. Yeah. Uh, so, it, Gus Malzahn talked a lot today about how it's the same kind of LSU defense that you're used to seeing. And maybe it has been against the pass so far, but not really against the run. This is, you're, not, you're not used to seeing LSU give up 160 right. yards a game, no matter how good Wisconsin or Mississippi State are in the running game. And Mississippi State hit several deep passes uh, against that LSU defense still. I remember them being backed up their own goal line. They hit a long route to to, uh, to Runya Wilson, an Alabama native. And then he, he hit a couple of guys in the middle of the field as well. So some of it's probably got to do with competition they faced, but also maybe some teams have noticed that they could probably run the ball all day against this LSU team. I, I hope I'm not. I hope I'm not saying misstating this, but I think in, LSU, in Les Miles' press conference yesterday, uh, he said that they gave up something like 150 yards or above on the ground against New Mexico State. So uh, that's not something that usually happens no. against a team of that caliber. So there's, there, there. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, I guess two units that have kind of struggled so far. Um, now Auburn's still in the top 20 in rushing, but uh, I think most fans know there's been some hiccups there. Uh, so two units that kind of struggled going up against each other. Be interesting to see who finds their groove a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Auburn's running backs. Uh, Gus Malzahn says they've been getting good, some good yards after carry. Kansas State they did. I'm not so sure they did against Louisiana Tech. Louisiana Tech was a struggle, uh, and particularly when you watch the game film at H back and uh, really just on the edge. Auburn's really struggled on the edge this season getting out getting those blocks and picking up the right guys. Unless Nick Marshall is improvising. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Which we've talked about. Maybe as a coach as you go, listen, Nick, something's not there. Take off, man. I'm going to write thing. I'm going to write about this uh, uh, at some point in the week. But uh, Nick said after the game that Rhett Lashley kind of encouraged him to pull the ball down and take off when he had, had opportunities. And if you watch that game, there were several times that he had pass opportunities, pulled it down, ran, picked up yards. It was a good chunk of Auburn's rushing yardage. Uh, through the first three quarters. So uh, you wonder if they don't do some more stuff to get him those opportunities, roll him out, uh, bootleg him, stuff where he's got the option to pass but pull it down. He really has made really good decisions with the ball. I think so too. Um, don't know if we'll see a bootleg though. We've talked about that. I know. I it's want, not really in this offense. I like about. bootlegs. 
so I want to see one. And then we'll go out there and see three of them Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that's going to do it. We, a lot of details to really go over. We're going we're gonna to go over this a lot more in stories coming up this week. At AL.com, make sure to follow our sister site slash brother site, family member, NOLA.com for coverage. Jim Klein, Peter, and Randy Rosetta do a great job. Really there. good. LSU coverage. <laughs>